great idea for Doki and it generates a buzz around the place. It's good for the economy, it's good for the shops, good for the pubs. Anything that gets people happy and gets them together has to be a good thing. We punch way above our weight in terms of the number of writers per square mile. I think what it proves is that a whole lot of people will come out to listen to people talk about books. Style. Dialogue. Let's just not look for the future, look to the past as well. What are we? We're storytellers. I'm delighted to see so many people here and so many friends. Sometimes the characters will surprise you. Events like this where you get people out, you know, you can have a drink outdoors, go in, talk nonsense, listen to nonsense, listen to high art, low art, medium art. I think it's very good for bringing communities together. There's no pleasing a writer. If you go into a shop and you see all your books in it, you think, oh, there they all are and nobody bought them. If you go into a shop and you don't see your books in it, you say, they never bothered to order them. With writing, something just comes to you like a dream. It's like when you're asleep and you dream, you have no conscious control over it. You're not thinking about what you're dreaming about. It's just happening. And in fact, the idea of generation becomes important at the start in the early decades of the 20th century. Scott Fitzgerald said once, he, uh, an artist wrote for the youth of today, the critics of tomorrow and the schoolmasters of ever afterward. You can contribute to your community in ways that actually enrich you as well. And I think that's what's interesting about this festival, the idea that people come out and are thinking, I enjoyed that, I've put a little bit of money back into the community, I'm now going to go out on a nice sunny day and have a beer down the road. And none of this was a terribly painful way to spend a sunny Saturday afternoon in June. What's particularly nice about this for me is that Dorky is my hometown, it's where I grew up. It's where I learned to read. A lot of the dreams of becoming a writer were set in train um, in Dorky as his hometown, was celebrating his birthday with a lot of hoopla and brouhaha and even a Beckett festival. It used to be that if you were a citizen in a nation like ours, you listened, you were told things, you were a passive consumer of information or politics. But these days you can take part. It's never been easier to start a campaign, to do something like this, like the Dorky Festival. People want to come out in Dorky, discuss books, buy books, real books, not books on computer screens and talk about them. This community is really a series of memories. It's a series of individuals who have actually tried to do things in the past in different bad times and have succeeded despite the economic backdrop. And the wonderful writing at Ulysses is how, how Joyce had captured so exactly that lower middle class Dublin at work. Too. What we had in the last seven or eight years was gambling, absolutely reckless gambling, and there should be accountability for it, and people should be in jail, and I have no difficulty with that. I absolutely support it. There's a huge distinction. Do we not have to question the mantra of blind competition for profit as the way to organize an economy. Isn't that actually at the root of the problem? And what we need is a bit of cooperation, the sort of cooperation that organized this wonderful festival. But I've actually gone off the idea of trying to score for it. <laughs> We qualified for the World Cup Finals in 1990, which was just extraordinary. And it was a time that maybe teenagers now have got used to, but certainly it was a time that we celebrated in a way we hadn't done before. The whole thing has been fantastic. I mean, we never expected to sell out and have such huge crowds coming. And, and interesting, the whole idea of trying to change our own town for ourselves, because this is the, the basis of the whole thing, which is that you can actually change your own environment by doing something yourself.